Welcome to KTAL News Now. I'm Brittany DeFran. The crew of Gemini has released its 2024-2025 Mardi Gras season theme. And here joining me today is Karen Baker. She is going to give us an inside look at the theme, the details about that, and get us all really excited as we gear up for this upcoming Mardi Gras season. So hi, Karen. How are you doing today? I'm good, Brittany. Thank you so much. Of course. I'm so excited to talk a little bit about this. It's a, it's a little early, right? But I mean, why not get started, announce a theme and start getting people excited for Mardi Gras season. So let's just start off by the theme itself. Uh, Crew of Gemini announced its theme. So what is it? Tell us what it is for the 2024 season, 2025 season. Yes, the Crew of Gemini 36 theme this year is Dream Catchers. And that's sort of all encompassing, um, you know, dream dreams of what you want to be when you're a child, when you grow up and what you want to continue to be and aspire to when you get older. Um, so all of the float themes and the entire crew theme was revealed this past Saturday at our theme announcement. And um, all the float themes are going to wind up being, again, those things that you sort of aspire to be when you're a child, whether that's a rock star or a cowboy or a superhero, a policeman, a fighter pilot, a astronaut. We just have a number of uh, themes that every one of the floats will wind up getting costumes for and supporting their individual float theme that fits underneath the crew theme. I love it. That's so exciting. Um, what a fun theme, right? Um, I feel like we, we've all grown up with dreams of our own. So it's very easy to get in that mindset and get creative in regards to some of those floats. And we have some pictures of them here that we're kind of showing our viewers. But tell me a little bit about what inspired this theme. So the captain this year for the crew of Gemini is Tony Richardson. And the captain gets to pick their theme. And so this is this is his baby. This is his brainchild. And he has two parts that he wants to sort of unveil. And the first part was released um, at Saturday at our theme announcement. And the next part of it, you'll have to come to our uh, grand ball, which is going to be on February 15th at the Shreveport uh, Convention Center. And so you'll re you'll see the second part of that. So there's two parts to this dream catcher vision that he has. That's amazing. And then so for maybe people who don't know, you know, how can the theme of, um, you know, how can the theme kind of impact what people see rolling through the streets on Mardi Gras or on the day of the parade? Well, and that's just part of the Mardi Gras season. So the next step for our year is going to be our coronation. And the coronation event is where we announce who's going to be the king, the queen, we have a Duke and Duchess of Arkansas, Duke and Duchess of Louisiana, and Duke and Duchess of Texas and Arkla Tex. And then we have our prince and princesses. And so they've been meeting in secret for several, several months. They've been going to get fittings for their costumes and so forth. And we will finally get to know who our royalty is for Gemini 36 on July 27th at Samstown. And so we'll be unveiling the ability for people to buy tickets. So if you're not a part of Mardi Gras already, you can always come and be a guest. The more the merrier, of course. And then as the year continues, we've got Twelfth Night, which kicks off the full Mardi Gras season for everyone, uh, which will be January 4th. There's a huge uh, festival or event, I should say, not really festival, at the Bossier Civic Center on January 4th and all the Mardi Gras crews are invited and the public's invited to come and attend. Um, we then reveal all of our royalty with all of their beautiful costumes and uh, trains and collar pieces with all the beautiful ostrich feathers. That will happen on February 15th and then the parade which is March 1st they'll be wearing their costumes on the floats as well and all the riders will be riding their floats with their costumes so the public will get to see everything um, if they're not able to attend any of those events they'll get to see everything at our parade on march 1st 
That's so exciting. And so much happening kind of just leading up to March 1st, which is, is oh, great. Yeah. I hope you guys are marking your calendars right now. <laughs> um, and especially also even the coronation, which is coming up on, I think, July 27th. Is that correct? Uh -huh. That's yeah, correct. That, yes. That's yeah. awesome. Um, uh, so see royalty, um, get them named and crowned and uh, see them out and about. That's that's exciting. Um, I mean, we really hit it all right here. It's so exciting. Dreamcatcher for Crew of Gemini, the 36th parade for uh, the 2024-2025 Mardi Gras season. Um, and we're really just getting excited for it. So anything yeah. else you want to add, um, Karen, in regards to just getting people excited? And Absolutely. Curious? I would love that if you're interested. Yes, exactly. I would love for everybody to be able to go online and um you can go to crewofgemini.com to apply for membership, to stay on top of all of our events. You can also find us on Facebook. We're very, um, we have a really strong social media presence and an amazing publicity chair. So again, feel free to like our page, get involved and um, join us in the events of celebrating Mardi Gras throughout the Arclotech. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. And you guys... Thank you. All right, you guys, for more details, you can see it all right here on ktalnews.com. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Hope you have a great rest of your day. We'll see you next time.